Sure is a nice looking herd. Wouldn't mind roping them right now. No, no, we're gonna stay right here and wait. Well, he could have gotten wind of us by now. Oh, he'll be here. He wouldn't desert his mares. I sure hope he gets here before dark. Oh, there he is right now, standing up there on that crest. That's Big Ripper. Will he give the men the signal? See the signal. Well, you had to see it from here. Well, I, I was watching all the time, Heath. Believe me, I, I surely was. If you just waved your hat, we'd have had that stallion right in our trap. He got away. What the devil happened, Brema? Well, I, I didn't see the signal. I don't think Willie gave it. He gave it. Well, if he did, then maybe them trees blocked my sight. It's all right, Nick. There's nothing we can do about it now. Look. Yeah. What, yeah. what probably happened? Forget it, Brema. I know what happened. Morning. Morning. No hurry. No hurry. The boys are already riding out. Well, you don't have to ride out this morning, Bremo. What are you talking about? Bremo, how long have you been with us now? About uh, 14 years, haven't you? That's right. 14 years, come this summer. 
I think it's about time you started taking things a little easier. Make you deserve a better job. Like what? Well, like maintenance. Up at the ranch, there's always plenty of things that uh, need fixing, and I want to talk to Nick about it. Hey, you mean sweeping up? Well, not sweeping up. There are plenty of other jobs. Now, you look here, young fella. I don't care if you're a Barkley or who you are. You're talking to old Bramer, you hear? Not some old stable hand. I know that, Bramer. But uh, the pay's the same. Same as a cow hand? Sure. Should be. I am a cow hand, one of the best. You ever hear tell how I came by the name Bramer? It was before your time, before you knew one end of the horse from the other. I wish you could have been there to see me then. I was riding this Bramer bull in this rodeo. He was the biggest beast I've ever seen. And he threw me. And after he threw me, he come bearing down on me with his horns. There was only one thing to do, and I did it. I grabbed him with my bare hands, and I wrestled him to the ground. I know. You told me that story before. But, Bramer, that was... It was 20 years ago. Now, what I'm trying to say is that there comes a time like, well, like yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday. That could have happened to anybody. It was only an accident. So I missed once. Once in all these years. It hasn't just been once. And anyway, I don't think Willie signaled me. He signaled you, Bremer. Only you were asleep in the saddle. Now, let's face it. Let's face it. Let's face it, you're trying to fire me, that's what. No, I'm not trying to fire you, Bremer. Believe me, we're all very fond of you. I don't need your affection. I'm thinking about my livelihood, my job. And I'm saying you can stay on here as long as you like. In the same pay. Sure. A charity case. No, thank you. Bremer, listen. I'm quitting, mister. Here, put your hand up here. No, not that way. Oh, my goodness, will you please hold still? I've got to see how this looks. Oh, Mama, when are you going to be done? i got to go play horseshoes. Andrea Marston, the next time I hear you playing horseshoes again with the fellas, when are you going to remember that you're a young lady now and young ladies don't play horseshoes? Oh, Mama. Oh, Mama. Don't keep saying, oh, Mama, all the time, either. Goodness, when I was your age, things was entirely different. Lord, what I wouldn't have given to have a hat like this and a pretty new dress to catch the eye of a certain young man. In those days, there was always one I wanted to look nice for. One that made me feel special when he was near. Oh, my goodness, one that made me feel like little fish was jumping up my veins. Oh, I was a romantic one. You were, Mama? Yes. All I was trying to say was, the way you act, it's more like a tomboy. More like... Grandpa! Hi, Andy. Oh, how wonderful. I didn't know you were coming. I didn't know it myself. How are you doing? Fine, just fine. Feel that muscle. Hey. Tough, huh? Yeah. Can you spend the night? Don't see why not. What's going on here? It's no holiday. No. No, it ain't. And then... You ain't feeling sick. <laughs> I never felt better in my life. Oh, thank heaven for that, Andrew. You come sit back here. I've got to finish this hat for oh, Mrs. Peabody. Mama. Oh, Mama. Mama. Not while Grandpa's here. How long are you going to stay? I don't know. I just might stay quite a spell. You might what? Papa, you look me straight in the eye. Did you get yourself fired? No. No, I didn't get myself fired. I quit. I don't believe it. You quit the Barclays? Yeah. I sure did. I guess I've been a cowhand enough years to match my know-how against any of them. I can ride, and rope, and brand, and round up anything. You name it. Now, hold on. Did somebody say you couldn't do any of them things? Well, uh, there's some things just don't need saying in so many words. But when somebody asks me would I like to sweep out a bunkhouse, well, I guess nobody can ask me that and expect me to be around very long. He's right, Mama. He asked you to sweep out the bunkhouse. Well, I don't believe it. Well, just what do you think maintenance means? Now, hold on, I said. Is what he asked you to do for the same pay? Same pay? What's that got to do with it? I guess I know an insult when I hear one. Insult my eye. Well, you ornery old fool, Papa. Don't you realize that they were being kind to you? They were offering you an easier job when, if they'd wanted to, they could... 
they could just let you go. No, they couldn't, because I quit. Papa, I want you to pay attention to me. Ever since Andrea's father died, I've been working for a living. Yeah, I I've know. been putting together bits and pieces of ribbon, felt, and straw. Don't you think there are times I get so sick of ladies' bonnets and dresses I could throw them all in the trash heap? But do I? No. I've got a job, see? I've got to feed and clothe Andrea and myself. I've got no choice. Now, Papa, you're no child. You can't just tell somebody who makes you an offer, a kind and generous offer, I call it. You just can't say no. Mm, that's your opinion. When's supper? I'll go right up now and fix it. Papa, I want you to go up and I want you to eat your supper. And I want you to get to that cot and I want you to lie there and get yourself a night's rest. And I want you to go straight out to the Barclays first thing in the morning and apologize. To Heath Barclay? Apologize? You can call it what you will. I want you to get out there and I want you to tell him that you've changed your mind and that you would be real grateful to take the new job he offered you. I haven't said a word in ten minutes. That must be a record for you. Something bother you? No. Nope. You also put four spoons of sugar in your coffee this morning and forgot to drink it. Well? Well, what? I don't know. It's just awful different around here without old Brema. Shouldn't have let him go. He's... I didn't let him go, Nick. I told you he quit. It amounts to the same thing, doesn't it? You told a man he was too old for his job anymore. Well, he is too old to go hunting after wild stallions. Just because he didn't see that signal? I must admit, I was a little bit hot about it myself. Then again, maybe he was right. Maybe what he said was true. Maybe there were trees in the way. No, Nick, there were no trees in the way. Look, I didn't want to tell you this, but yesterday, Bremer was asleep in the saddle. Asleep? Heath, you're not thinking. I don't think, Nick, I know. Now, we've been after that horse for days, and his bones just couldn't take it anymore. And what's more important, he could have been trampled to death. Well, I guess I can't argue much about that now, can I? Then again, I don't have to like it either. You know, we just don't let a man go. A man that's given us his two good hands and sweat and loyalty over the years. We just don't let him go, Heath. Well, look, Nick, I, I was going to talk to you about getting him something else to do. But he quit. What else could I do? I don't know. Nothing, I guess. Well, if we're gonna get that stallion, we better get to it. You go ahead. I'm gonna... I'll meet you up on the Blue Mountain Trail. All right. Come on, Bobo. you going to say hello? Hello. Came to see your grandfather. Is he here? He's already left. Did he say where he was going? My mama made him get up early this morning so he could go back out at the ranch and see you. That's funny. I would have seen him on the way in. I say good for him. So he didn't go back after all. Well, Andy, I brought what your grandfather had come in and pay. You can put it over there. Andy, I hope you don't misunderstand. We really like your grandfather. Oh, sure you do. Trying to cut him down. Trying to make out he isn't good enough anymore. 
My grandfather's about the best cowboy in these parts. Why, why, he can ride better than anybody I know. I bet he can ride better than you any old day. So I'm telling you, you got a fat nerve telling him to go sweep up your barn. I hope he never sets his foot on your dumb old ranch again. <laughs> Well? Well what? You went to see Bremer. He wasn't there. Oh, changed your mind about him, huh? No, I didn't, Nick. If you want to hire him back to get himself killed, then you'll have to do it yourself. be doing that for you too, Mr. Wilson. Chew horses, ride them, break them. You name the job, I can do it. Bremer, I told you already. I've got my hands full paying the help I got as it is. Well, I, I wouldn't worry too much about the money, Mr. Wilson. I can wait for that. Could wait a whole month if need be. Well, there's no need. Because I'm not hiring. Is that clear? Yeah, it's clear. Bremer. You just gotta understand. There's nothing I can do about it. Why don't you try Haney's or that place over near the bill pot? Try them both. Well, uh, thanks anyway. Prima. I'm real sorry. Think nothing of it, Mr. Wilson. It's uh, just an idea I had anyway. Fact is, I uh, actually got me a job out in Nevada way. I just take it. You better do that. Stay in it. Well, weather's been real fine. See, you know, uh, I was just wondering if uh, you ain't maybe looking for a good, strong, experienced cowhand. Always can use one. Who'd you have in mind? Me. Aren't you still out on the Barkley Ranch? Nope. Quit yesterday. Me and that Keith Barkley just didn't see eye to eye. Well, I don't know. I always heard the Barkleys were pretty good people to work for. Anyway, I really don't need a man just now. Oh, that ain't what you said a minute ago. Sorry, Brema. I guess I can't help you. You can't help me. You and every other rancher I talked to today. Mr. Carberry, I'm 60 years old. I worked hard all of my whole life. And suddenly I wake up one morning and like that, I'm nothing. I'm nothing because a mealy mouth Barkley chooses to say so. I'm finished, wiped out. Wiped out of a chance to earn a roof over my head and a meal in my stomach. I don't want to get into a discussion of your personal problems with the Barclays. I'm not interested in what happened out there. You're not interested. Now, that's the truest thing you ever said. 
You're not interested if a man has to go hungry. If a man You has quit, to... didn't you? Sure, I quit. You think I want to be treated like some, some feeble charity case? I don't need the Barclays charity, and I don't need yours. All I'm asking is a chance to earn a decent, honest living. You'll excuse me? No. No, I won't excuse you. No. I'm beyond excuse, and I'm at the end of my rope. Can't Ramer. you see that? Ramer, Ramer, Ramer. you get hold of yourself. Come on, man. People are looking at you. Nick. Nick, what have you been up to? Looks like you're tangled with a grizzly bear. Worse than that, old Ripper. The wild stallion? Well, they say he's a killer. No, never heard of him taking sugar out of anyone's hand. I don't think he's gonna start now. Hey. Bremer. Yeah. Bremer, wait, I want to talk to you. Give me a bottle. What are you doing here? This ain't no place for you. It's wrong that I've been here before. Well, come on over here and sit down. Bring her a sarsaparilla. Where have you been? Well, I ain't been back to the Barclays, that's for sure. You okay, Grandpa? Yeah. Grandpa, listen. Now, you shouldn't let this business with the Barclays get you down. Well, heck, you can get a job at any ranch in town. Of course I can. At least I thought I could. I can see it all now. There's only one possible explanation. It's them Barclays. They're the ones to blame. Would you believe it, Andy? I went to every ranch within 10 miles of here. And nothing. And do you know why? Because them Barclays spread the word not to hire me. That's why. Boy, if that ain't the meanest thing I ever heard. People, people just oughtn't to listen to them Barclays. Yeah. Well, they won't. Not when I get finished, they won't. I'm going to show them I'm as good as any of them. I'm going to show them. Sure you will. Thing is, how? Oh. Well, you'll think of something. Yeah, well, I, I've been studying on it. There's a way, all right. There's a surefire way. Them wild horses. The wild horses? Well, sure. Ain't everybody in town been crazy to catch them? The stallion. Big Ripper, that's the one they want. Of course. And has anybody caught him yet? That, that Nick Barkley. Ha! You should have seen him the way I just saw him a while ago outside. If that don't prove they don't know the first thing about going after a wild stallion, I don't know what does. You know something? If they had any sense, they would have asked you. Why, well, remember the time you wrestled down that frame of bull barehanded? Did you ever tell him that story? Yeah, yeah, I told him. They said that was 20 years ago. That's all they cared about. 20 years. You know, I... I got a, you know, wild plan running around my head. What if I was to go out on my own and bring back the leader of that herd? That wild stallion. Could you still do it, alone? <laughs> well, of course I could, if I set my mind to it. Yeah, I, I sure could. What would you say, Andy? What would you say if old Bremer brought in that wild stallion? What would the Barclays say? The whole town? Yeah! Yeah, then show them all! Thanks. When are you gonna do it? Well, uh, <laughs> be, be soon. How soon? Well, uh, real soon, but, uh, well, Andy, you got to understand that going out after a wild stallion ain't something you do half-cocked. Oh, no, you you got to make plans. You got to think about this. Oh, 
I'll help you make plans. What's first? Well, well, first I, 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 I'd have to get myself a, a good horse. Not Charlie? <laughs> no, no, not Charlie. Charlie ain't the horse for this. He's not strong enough and not fast enough. Now, any, anybody going after a wild stallion got to have a strong horse and a fast horse. That's for certain. Well, come on, then. Let's get started. <laughs> Yes, sir. There's a fine lot of horses here. Now, you just take your pick, and I'll make you a good price. How much for that bay over there? Now, I got to say this for your grandfather. He's got a fine eye for horse flesh. Well, he should. He's only the best cowboy in this county. How much? Bremer, since you're a knowledgeable fella, I'm going to show you one real bargain. There now. You ever see a better looking cow pony? <laughs> well, you've probably seen better. But he's sound and wind and limb and sight and... Well, what's more, I can make you a real price on this horse. He's a jughead. Rib cage is too small. He's towing in. He's got bowed tendons. His hocks are too far apart. Bring him over here. And judging, judging from his teeth, he's got to be over eight years old. I wouldn't have that horse for any price. <laughs> well, it's like I said, your grandfather's got two sharp eyes. How much for the bay? Well, uh, now that's a problem, Bremer. You see, I got to get a price for that horse. Now, there ain't another horse can touch that bay except Keith Barkley's horse, Charger. How much you asking? Uh, one hundred dollars. Hundred dollars? Uh, now, I'll give you twenty dollars for that nag you rode in. But that's the best I can do. I ain't got that kind of money on me. Well, not many men walking around do, Bremer. But I'll give you credit. Anybody who works for the Barclays has got credit with me. Yeah, uh, well... Uh, tell you what. Leave me your horses down payment and give me, oh, ten dollars a payday. <laughs> what day's payday out the Barclays? Uh, my grandpa... Never mind, honey. Just, just forget it. Forget it. I'll, uh, I'll get me a horse someplace else. Come on. Well, not like that bay, you won't. Grandpa! Grandpa! You'll get your horse. I got it, Andy. That's for sure. Only, I don't know where. We looked all over, and so far, no luck. You know, a horse like that bay is going to be hard to find. Except Charger. He said so himself that the Barclays horse Charger is just as good. <laughs> sure. If, if I had Charger, I'd be a cinch to get that stallion. If. see why the senator invited us to dinner. He wants you two to supply the beauty and glamour. Nonsense, Jared. I have a feeling that the senator is going to ask you to manage his campaign for him. Oh, uh, well, not a chance of that. I'll get it. He hasn't asked me yet, but even if he does, I'm much too busy. Andy! Maybe I shouldn't have come, but it's real important. Well, come on in. I've forgotten what a beautiful place you got here. It's been a long time since we've seen you. Andy, what a pleasant surprise. Miss Barclay? It's nice to see you, Andy. You look like you're all dressed up to go to a party or somewhere. Oh, we're in no hurry. We're waiting for friends. Please, sit down. I, uh, I got a ride out here from Jay Gordon. Uh, I don't mean to stay or anything. I, I had to see Heath. Heath? Oh, well, he's in the barn hitching up the buggy. He'll be here any minute. Tell me, how is your grandfather? Oh, he's fine. Just fine. Why, yeah, uh, he's even got a couple of jobs lined up. Or he might be taking a trip to Nevada. Good. Well, anyway, that's, that's why I came to see Heath. 
Uh, hello, Andy. Bet you sure didn't expect to see me here. It's about my grandfather. I come to ask a favor. Well, I hope it's something I can do. Easy. Just let me borrow a charger. Charger? Well, now, do you mind telling us why? I think you ought to give my grandfather a fair chance. I think you owe it to him. I think it's the least you can do. You people, you don't know how a man feels. Oh, Andy, you know how much we think of your grandfather. Well, if you do prove it. Don't you see? It's his only chance to show himself, and he can do it without a strong, fast horse like Charger. He can't get that stallion unless... Stallion? Your grandfather's thinking about going after that wild stallion? He'll do it, too. He'll show you. But he can't do it without Charger. No. No. I can't do that. You can't. Or you won't. No, no, no. Wait a minute, Andy. A couple of days ago, he said no. He'd had a fight on his hands. But since then, I've had a crack at that stallion, and... <laughs> I'm sorry. I've got to go along with ease. I was lucky to come out with just a broken arm. Is that your answer? All of you? Well, thanks. Thanks a whole lot. Andy. People say the Barclays are such a kind, understanding family. Always ready to help someone. That's what they say. Well, now I know different. My grandfather was right about you Barclays. Excuse me. Andy! Andy, wait! Now, where are you going? Just leave me alone. Now, look, it's late. You can't walk home. It's too far. Now, how did you plan to get back? If you weren't so stingy with your dumb horse, I could have ridden him back. Well, come on back, and I'll take you home in the buggy. No, thanks. Now, Andy, don't be stubborn. Listen here, Heath Barkley. My grandfather and I can get along just fine without your family, so you can go off to your dumb highfalutin parties. Andy, I'm asking you. And now I'm telling you, you're going to come back with me and take you home in that buggy. No, no, no! You're so close to you, and listen to me. Andy, you go pay attention, you're going to get a wallop and get spanked. Oh, don't you dare talk to me like that. I'm 14 years old, almost 15. And you're acting like eight. Now, now Andy, for the love of heaven, get some sense into that head of yours. Stop worrying about what Braymon wants and start thinking about what's good for him. And he can't go after that stallion. I know it's a little dangerous, but he's good, and you don't know how good. Andy, I know this. Your grandfather is 60 years old. Now, his mind's willing, his spirit's willing, but he's not as strong as he used to be. He's not the same man that wrestled that Brahma. Andy, he can't get that stallion. If you don't give him a chance, though, it might break his heart. Well, then let it. I say better to break his heart than break his back, or worse. Andy, what you're asking me to do is give him a horse so that he can go out and get himself killed. I know it's hard for you to understand. But, Andy, sometimes we have to hurt the ones we love in order to help them. Never thought of it like that. Come on back. Let me take you home. Be. If 
frighten you like a... like a tomboy? I reckon you do think I'm a tomboy, don't you? No, Andy, I think you're a girl with a lot of deep, warm feelings, and I know you want what's best for your grandfather. Well, I guess I shouldn't keep you talking here, seeing as you have to get to that party. Thank you again, very much. Yeah, I guess I had better be getting back. You could call me Andrea if you like. All right, Andrea. Sleeping, just, uh, just thinking. Oh, I've been thinking too, Grandpa. Oh? About that stallion. What about it? Well, uh, I, I, I wish that, I wish that for me, I wish you'd forget it. Forget it? What are we going to do with the stallion? My gosh, it's such a dangerous thing to do, and... and what for? What for? Why, well, honey, just to show him and... But, Grandpa... But you don't have to show anything to me, Grandpa. I love you always, even if you never catch any stallions. <laughs> then you... you really wouldn't care if I didn't go after that there stallion? Mm -mm. I wouldn't want you to. And even the Barclay said... Don't mention their name to me, honey. Oh, Grandpa, you're so wrong about them. They really do care for you. Oh, sure. <laughs> They're real nice people, Grandpa. Especially Heath. My gosh, did you ever notice how handsome he is? The way he kind of makes you feel like you was someone special or something. Well, he, well, he, he kind of fixed that blanket around me when we got into the buggy. Now, wait a minute. When did you get into a buggy with Heath Barkley? Well, I, I, I was just going to tell you, Grandpa. Well, I'm listening. Uh, I, I thought that, that maybe if I, if I went out there and if I, I talked to them, that maybe I could help. But then Heath explained everything to me. Yeah, I'll bet he did. Well, let me tell you, Grandpa. I don't want to hear any more. They weren't satisfied turning the whole town against me. They had to work on you, too. They didn't, they didn't. They told you I was too old and worn out, didn't they? They just said that it was a dangerous thing for you to do. You're liable to get your neck busted. They said that if I you don't want to hear any more. Oh, Grandpa! <laughs> That was some party, wasn't it? Sure was. You know something, Heath? I'm beginning to think that the senator might have a real chance in this election. Well, he has. Now that he's hogtied you into handling his campaign, I think Mother was right. She hit the nail on the head. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. If I were as good at predicting what people are going to do as she is, I might just give up law and go into politics. So you're already in. You're going to be in a lot deeper when you start on that tour with him, too. Yeah, I guess you're right. What's the matter? Thought I heard something. Heard something? What? Nothing, I guess. dress on. Well, I, I think I'm getting too old to be a tomboy. Did I hear you right? Andrea, look at me. Have you got something to tell your mother? 
Well, I, I guess it's kind of like what you said. Little fish jumping through your veins. Mama, am I pretty? A am I... I'll get it. Hey. Hello, Andy. Uh, Andrea. Come on in. Mother, it's Heath Barclay. How nice to Hello, see Ms. you, Mr. Barclay. Oh, won't you have a cup of coffee? Thank you. Andrea made it. Oh? And if I do say so of my own daughter, she makes the best coffee in town. I just happened by to ask about Raymond. Oh, well, uh, I spoke to him last night about what you said, and, and I tried to explain it to him, but I think you're going to have to. Uh, milk, sugar? Oh, uh, it's time he was up. Is he here? Oh, yes, he's in his room. Andrea, go wake your grandfather. That's a pretty dress. Thank you. I just Grandma. finished it. He's gone. He's gone? I was afraid of that. He, one of our horses was missing this morning. Charger? I'm not saying Brahma took it. Well, why would Brahma... No, oh, no, he wouldn't. He did it, Mama. I know, he went out to get that stallion. All by himself? Why, that silly old fool, he'll kill himself. Oh, Grandpa! Now, Andrea, don't you worry. I'm gonna go after him. He must have got up early before us and gone out. Well, I'll catch up to him. Thanks for the coffee. I don't know, son's waiting lunch for Heath. He's up in the hills looking for Brahma. And it's true, he did take charge of uh, I'm afraid so, this stubborn old critter. Oh, and Nick, he may be old and he may be stubborn, but there's no excuse for us. Well, now, what is that supposed I to mean? I think we made a big mistake about well, now, Brahma. Well, now, wait a minute. I thought so, too, at first. And when a man gets that old, he, he doesn't have the strength he used to have. We did what he could. We didn't try to embarrass him by giving him charity. We gave him a good, decent, honest job. Now, what's wrong with that? No, no, nothing wrong, Nick. We just took an old man's pride away from him. What? Well, he thinks he's a little better than just a handyman. Fifty years of experience, now that must be worth something. Of course it's worth something. Yes, but, but what did we do to take advantage of it? Now, you know, just because a man is old and weary, that's no excuse to put him out the pasture. He's still a man. And the years he's lived, no matter at what, must mean he has something to offer. And a man, Nick, a, a, a man has to know he has something to offer. Otherwise, he... Otherwise, he just stops caring about living anymore.
gonna get you. Please, God, help me. I got him. I got him. I had to, Bremer. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I could have gotten that stallion. I'm just as good as I ever was. No, you're not. Bremer, you can kill me. And you can go after that stallion again. And if you're lucky, you may get a rope on it without getting yourself killed. But it won't change a thing. It won't make you young again. Nothing can make you young again. You've got to accept that, Bremer. I'm sorry. I'm still young enough to get into a saddle by myself. And I ain't too old and worn out to find my way home. Never hear another brass band. How's everything around here? Couldn't be better. What's this? New stock? Yeah. Come on, take a look. Little fellas, ain't they? <laughs> they sure are. Belgian, aren't they? Yeah, straight from St. Joe, our new livestock buyer picked them up. Where is he? The Percherons he got for us. We've got them working up the North Field. They must weigh over a, oh, a ton apiece. A ton? All right, wait till you see. Uh, well, now, I'd like to just as soon as I can. You didn't tell me you were going to hire a new livestock buyer. Who is he? Only the best horseman in the whole state. Missed you. Missed you, too. Well, it seems I have a little catching up to do around here. When do I meet this new man? Right now. Come on. You can put him away. Watch your toes. Bremer. Mr. Jarrett. Welcome home. Thank you, Bremer. Seeing you here makes it seem a lot more like being home. Well, uh, the family thought I could do the job, and I guess I can. I, I know horses pretty well. Brandy, you know more about horses than anyone else in the whole valley. Well, anyway, from now on, I'm going to leave it up to you fellas to get busted up chasing stallions. I got plenty to keep myself busy here. And I ain't finished yet. You betcha not. Well, Hattie, not by a long sight. 